speaker. So let's inform ourselves before we make any moves in this house. Mr. Speaker, and I don't like this attitude of people saying that we are we keep deceiving ourselves. Who is deceiving you? You are entitled to your opinion, but you certainly are not entitled to your own set of facts. The facts speak to themselves. Whereas you may disagree with a comment made by somebody, you are not entitled to your own set of facts. The set of facts as given by the Minister of Health, as given by the Deputy Minister of Health, are assembled by competent officers charged with that responsibility. And nobody can sit in his room or her room and manufacture his own set of facts and come and force them on this house and talk about miracles happening. Mr. Speaker, we should be serious with ourselves as, as members of this house. After all, our deliberation should inform the populace. Our deliberation should inform the populace. And we should not script our own facts. Mr. Speaker, no, I think I have said here no. that Ghana has been blessed. No. And our president has been blessed. And his government has been blessed. And I've said here in this house before that we are not relying on anybody's common sense opinion to do this battle. But we are relying on expert advice. And that is what we have done so far. That is what we have been doing so far. Mr. Speaker, when I say we have been blessed, we have one big money being amongst the technical people we are working with who has been the Deputy Director General of the World Health Organization, yes, yes. Yes. who has come on, home on retirement, and the President has appointed him as his coordinator, yes. who is helping us do this thing. The man has got massive experience with infectious diseases, a doctor in Ghana, who had been the head of um, Ghana Health Service before, and he's ready to support us. So who else again can we bring here to see what we are seeing? What I said was that, this coronavirus disease has come to live with us. Just like diabetes, hypertension, stroke, any other disease, malaria, and whatever thing we live with. All these diseases, we manage them. We take medication, the access exercise, we do them. So the reality now with COVID-19 is the fact that we will not allow ourselves to let the virus push us into our rooms and stay there forever. Man must eat. So we should come out. How do we come in the face of the pandemic? So we will have to manage and learn to live with the disease. 